What is going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Tox back at it with another video and apparently The Rock has started his rap career with Tech 9 and I thought it was quite interesting to see somebody as big as The Rock is do any type of music, especially rap music. Something I came across on Instagram from one of the posts that The Rock had put on his Instagram was his caption being in the place of Tom McDonald's song, America. Now, knowing Hangover Gang fans, knowing how loyal and how insane they are, I really feel that they are not going to like that The Rock placed that caption in the middle of his song, America, that is currently, I believe, number five or number four on iTunes, especially knowing what that song is all about. I'm not here to say The Rock did that intentionally. Obviously, that could have just been coincidental. With that being said, The Rock is currently number two in the country and has been wanting to collaborate with Tech 9 for years. Earlier in the pandemic, I would say early 2020, there were some news reports that were coming in about a YouTuber by the name of Vitaly, a legendary YouTuber, by the way who was mainly known for his pranks on YouTube with Roman Atwood and had randomly attacked an innocent woman while jogging on the street. She was minding her own business as Vitaly hops out of the bushes and decides to attack her. Well, now that it's been a full year, the police have put out an update and showed footage of a neighbor who explains everything that took place. He was actually a witness. Did, 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 did she know the guy? Or? No, no, no. Let me tell you what's going on. This is a young lady that was lives on with her boyfriend. She was just out jogging on her island. Who her? Yeah. She okay. was passing my house evidently, where the guy lives across the street. He just came out and throttled her for no reason. He just came out and just whacked her in the face. Now after this, Vitaly is already inside his house. Nobody can do anything legally without a warrant. So somehow they convince him to come out. And here is the other footage of how he reacted as police put him in handcuffs and put him in the car. Watch your head. Guys, listen to this. Oh, no, no, listen to that. Guys, that, guys that, oh, oh. how do you want to do this? Okay. Get up I'm not and sit in there. Get up. Now, on April 15, 2020, the victim filed a civil lawsuit against Vitaly and his company. And on June 9th of this year, 2021, the court has been notified that the civil suit, the lawsuit, has been settled. Vitaly seems to be getting some type of freebie out of this situation is what it sounded like. And it's awful to know that with money and power, Motherfuckers can just walk away from what they've done. Now, in other news, there is a massive show by the name of Squid Game. And apparently, this show has become so popular that you cannot even use the name Squid Game on your Instagram, on your Twitch, or probably even your YouTube because this girl, as you're seeing right here by the name of Lydia, has a gamer tag by the name of Squid Game, and even her Instagram had been deleted. I think so many people have been trying to log into my account or reporting it. Instagram has even banned me. Very not cool. She said, where is my article about Squid Game ruining my life? I will take big checks for this. Insane. I mean, to know the fact that you had your own channel or any type of name that now is a massive TV show and your shit's getting deleted. I could only imagine. But if she did trademark it, bro, she's about to make a bag. What I mean by a bag, like millions and millions of dollars. But let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, it's been your boy Don Tox, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.